And uh, John Suli, probably all of you know him. He has been here in Mallorca in about four years, more or less. So he's almost my <laughs> 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 uh, He studied his PhD in Korea, and then he moved uh, here to make his puzzle. In the present, he got a position in a prestigious uh, institute in uh, Korea, Kia's Institute. Uh, so he will leave next summer, but until that time, he will be here. He has published about 20 publications here during his four years with us. He's working with me, with David, and with the uh, students also in very different topics. Majorana fermions in nanowires, quantum fed, thermal electrical transport in the mesoscopic system. So he's very versatile. And he has, uh, I mean, we have learned many things from him. He has been very creative. So today he's going to present my first collaboration with experimental group. <laughs> and I guess that is in your case the same. And it's about uh, how condor fed is manifested <coughs> in a quantum dot when you have superconductor uh, contacts. So, thank you. Okay. Thanks for giving this chance to me. Uh, today, I will talk about transport measurement of Andre bound state in a condor correlate quantum dot. So, here you can see there are three keywords. First one is condor, second one is Andre bound state. Finally, we have to understand transport measurement. So, I will explain this concept one by one. Uh, you can find this article in archive also yesterday. Uh, this paper was accepted for publication in PRL. And <coughs> as Rosa said, uh, this was done in collaboration with many experimentalists and theorists uh, <coughs> here. Key investigator is uh, Dr. Nam Gim, and series is uh, Rosa Lopez and Ki Chung Gang and Mans Choi. <coughs> Rosa and I provide some numerical data to this, this experiment. <coughs> okay, I will explain everything one by one. Okay, before presenting. <laughs> 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 Before presenting my work, uh, first I will explain about South Korea. Maybe every European asked me uh, yesterday on TV news, I heard about North Korea's dictators and nuclear weapon and military tension between South and North Korea. So I think in this respect, uh, maybe Europeans think South Korea is a bit scary and dangerous country. But on the other hand, <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> nowadays, uh, Spanish young guys uh, tell about uh, Korean pop star Sai. Maybe this is Spanish uh, pop chart. Here you can see Sai is number one. <laughs> okay. Here he is very famous of uh, his song Gangnam Style and <laughs> this whole sense, maybe you know. <laughs> yeah. He's really, um, you can see from these pictures, he's really crazy and funny guy. Okay, he's also, uh, you can see this is Madonna, Britney Spears, <laughs> and this is Bora Gumana. <laughs> okay. In this respect, maybe Spanish young guy uh, saying South Korea is funny or exciting country. I don't know what, which one is your true impression for South Korea. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> here, uh, this shows Google map is, here is South Korea. Our neighbors are China and Japan. So our culture is mostly affected by China and we deliver our culture to Japan. So, <laughs> this is the main building our 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 palace. So, 
Uh, you can say this is totally different from uh, European architecture. Also, it, this shows uh, our traditional uh, garden, and our country is full of the uh, is full of uh, Buddha's temples and Buddha's statue. Also, we have very beautiful nature. So, especially in the in the in the pool, you can see very beautiful and colorful trees. So, so if you are if you are planning to visit Korea, I recommend to visit in in the pool. <coughs> Also, this shows our traditional dinner or lunch table. Uh, unlike the European style, we have many small dishes and one or two big dishes. <coughs> okay, uh, I hope uh, this food is the most uh, favorite food to Europeans. This is a mixture of vegetables and vegetables and some oils and this is uh, our traditional recipe for, for meat and this is uh, chicken soup usually we eat this food in the summer to improve our activity so also we have a very well known electronic uh, companies and automobile companies so I can say Korea is very safe country so don't believe and don't believe TV news. <laughs> Finally, <clears throat> we are very proud of our alphabet. So, uh, unlike the European alphabet, our alphabet was created about 600 years ago by King Sejong. This guy is King Sejong. Here you can see some text. He says uh, our language is different from Chinese language, so that our people cannot express our thoughts and feelings properly. Thus, I invent new easy alphabet for our people. So, in this respect, this guy is most uh, greatest king in our history. Okay. So here, uh, our alphabet uh, composed uh, consists of fourteen consonant and ten vowels. Here, this line shows. Uh, consonant. This line shows uh, vowels. So here uh, you can see almost one-to-one -one correspond correspondence between Korean and uh, English alphabet. Here this line, for example, this line corresponds G sound. This, uh, this alphabet corresponds N sound. In this way, we can make almost one-to-one -one correspondence. <clears throat> For example, Rosa, David, and Lorenz can be written in this way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, also I have to mention uh, <clears throat> our alphabet is very scientific. So, if, for example, if you uh, pronounce it, uh, for example, if you pronounce it G sound, the shape of your organ is this one. So we use this notation. <laughs> One more, so here this sign, if this sign corresponds to N sound, then your, the shape of your tongue is this one. <laughs> so, in this respect, our language is very, very scientific. <laughs> <coughs> How would you write LOSA with L at the beginning? L? Yes, LOSA. Yeah, here. <laughs> the difference between R and L. We cannot do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe we can invent a new alphabet anyway. <laughs> okay. So I think um, even Polish people can learn our alphabet within one hour, but there is one difficulty. Usually, uh, English, we, did, we write a sequential, for example, R, O, S, A. But Korean alphabets are grouped into blocks, uh, exactly syllabus. So, for example, Rosa can be written in this way. R corresponds to this alphabet, and O corresponds to this alphabet. S corresponds to this one. A corresponds to this one. But we don't write sequentially. 
we group everything into syllabus. So this is one difficulty in learning Korean alphabet. Okay, then I will start. Uh. <laughs> <coughs> so uh, my work is a story about Jobson Junction. Maybe I think you know about the Jobson Junction, but I will briefly mention about that. Uh, by Jobson Junction, I mean uh, a device which are composed of superconductors and central region. This central region can be a uh, normal metal or insulator or quantum dust or any others. So then uh, we make this kind of device, we call it a uh, Jobson Junction. Then the uh, then peculiar thing is up to a critical current, the current can flow without any voltage, uh, voltage drop. So we call it super current. This uh, compare this with the uh, Ohm's law. So <clears throat> Anyway, it, this is a typical Jobson junction. So this slide shows my uh, one-page summary of my talk. <clears throat> Usually, a uh, Jobson phase current relation can be, read, uh, can be written in this way. That is, critical time, uh, critical current IC times sine pi. Here, pi is the phase difference between this and this. <clears throat> so. So technically, we call it uh, zero junction. But under some conditions, uh, Jobson current can be expressed in this way. Here you can see extra phase pi. So we, te we technically call it pi junction. So uh, in my talk, I will present under what conditions this phase, uh, this phase transition occurs. Also, we can see that <coughs> This phase transition is always followed by the crossing of Andre bound state. So our work, our experimental colleagues studied this zero pi transition and crossing of Andre bound state using uh, the so-called tunneling spectroscopy. So I will explain everything one by one. <clears throat> first, uh, to understand our experiment, first we have to understand what is condo effect and uh, second we have to understand what is Andre bound state or Andre bound state finally we have to understand what is zero pi transition then finally I will uh, present our experimental result so first uh, we have to understand uh, first we have to understand the condo effect uh, this graph shows uh, resistance as a function of temperature. <clears throat> Usually we decrease the temperature, then resist always decrease. But below some critical temperature, it does not decrease anymore. It has residual value. So, <clears throat> so we call it residual resistance. <clears throat> this situation happens when there is a magnetic, non-magnetic impurity in a metal. Here, this decrease of the resistance it is due to the decrease of phonon scattering and electron-electron scattering. <coughs> then, next question is, uh, then this behavior can be, 